No matter if you're a 13 year old or a 40 year old, we are looking for same answers. How to improve? See, a problem with that is that someone at the age of 15 is not having the same life as someone who is, let's say, 35 years old. See, there is no universal advice that can be given, and I highly recommend you to stay with me throughout the video because even if you are younger, there are advices for older people that you personally might find really useful. So let's begin. If you're age 13 and 18, this is gonna be a time of your life where your mechanical skill is gonna be at peak. At this age, you're going to rapidly improve and soak different gameplay mechanics and game concepts like a sponge. Best thing that you can do for yourself at this age is to play a variety of games with your friends. I'm not just referring to FPS games, but all of them. I don't know if you noticed, but every game out there has one or two specific mechanics or concepts to it. CS is all about economy and planning your rounds ahead with your team. League of Legends is all about timing and understanding enemy strength and flaws. Call of Duty is all about fast decision making and aim. PUBG is all about map knowledge and looting. See what I mean with it? Playing variety of games will teach you variety of stuff. And it will allow you to build overall gaming experience and skill rather than just becoming good at one game. And before you start arguing with me in comments about this, let me remind you that new games come out consistently, they get released each year. And even if you play a single game for like 5 years, the meta in it is going to change and force to adapt to it. So it's best for you to become a jack of all trades. This is the time of your life where you're gonna finish high school and move to college, or get your first job, or maybe both. That means that now you're gonna have slightly less time, but also slightly more money. Why is that important? That means that the choice of your games is gonna narrow down, and that now it's a perfect time for you to upgrade your setup. Treat yourself with a nice mouse and mousepad, because that will allow you to step up your game to a next level. Not being limited with a bad performing mouse or an old dirty mousepad is a game changer. But that's not all. If you haven't already, this is your last stop to start aim training. I'll explain later in video why, but for now, let's stick to this. Aim trainers are an extremely powerful tool if you know what you're doing and how to use them. Remember how I mentioned that you should play a variety of games? Well, you see, different games require different aim mechanics. Some require more tracking, while others require more crosser placement and flicking. Since younger you played a bunch of different games, now you understand what is your weak spot in your aim, and now you can effectively and efficiently hop on aim trainers and hone down your aim. There is aim community called Votaik, which made a lot of benchmarks. A lot. And scenarios for you to practice. So double check once again what is your weak part of your aim, and use aim lab scenarios made by some really talented people in Votaik to work on that part of your aim and improve it. You're done with college and more or less got your life figured out. Or at least what you wanna do or where you wanna be. With that being said, one of the fastest ways to see improvement and spark of joy when playing games again is to treat yourself with some new gear. Experiment with new mice shapes, different mouse pads, and overall get yourself a beefy PC that can run FPS games at high frame rate. Why am I telling you this? Well, you see, a lot more things are going on in your life than before. Last thing that will be on your to-do list is to become crack tamer. Allowing yourself to experience the games in a different way with high FPS and different mice will naturally motivate you to light up that competitive fire inside of you that you had as a kid. And having a good PC and gear will make it a lot easier. At this time, I wouldn't recommend you spend too much time aim training, but rather use them as a warm-up routine before games. Voltaic, that I mentioned earlier, has a really good warm-up routine that you can try. In regard of experimenting with different mice, here is a general advice. Small and narrow mice are good for games with verticality. Games where you're gonna be making a lot of fast movements in a bunch of different directions, such as Fort and Toro Overwatch, let's say. Wider mice with a hump in the back will give you stability when tracking enemies on a horizontal axis, games like Warzone or Apex. Ergo mice are good for stability. And you know, CS players love them. If you don't know what to get, just get a G Pro X. It's jack of all trades, but master or none. Or put it this way, it's good enough. At this age, gaming is probably still your passion, but life is life. You got a full-time job, fiancé, family, kids, and whatnot. Since you don't really have that much free time in your hands, advising you guys to experiment with different mice, mouse pads, or tr aim train is just not the best idea. My biggest advice for you 
is to avoid trying to catch up with younger gamers. Hear me out why. As I've mentioned in the video previously, younger people are going to have advantage over you by the fact they have more free time, more friends to play games with, and overall have better reflexes and better mechanical skill. But don't get discouraged because of that. You are not an old rug that can be just tossed away. You have one huge advantage over them that honestly, whenever you use it against them, is going to piss them off a lot. See, by the time of you becoming older, you lost the need of trying to prove yourself to others. You learn to be patient and calm. And you also understand that the game is just a game. So how is this giving you an advantage, you may ask me. A lot of younger gamers are trying to be flashy, right? In a way where they want to use a shortcut to creating an image of being better than what they actually are. They're going to play on crazy high sensitivity, make three gazillion unnecessary inputs and movements just so they can look as their favorite streamer or pro player. With that being said, they often are going to be overconfident and overlook importance of understanding the game itself, how guns work, and importance of minimap and their surroundings when they're pushing in to get that crazy clip. You can't really blame them for that, but you can punish them for that. What you should focus on is putting all your effort in understanding how guns work, how recoil behaves, how different attachments on your guns impact behavior of your gun, how maps work, where you can get good angles on, and so on. Your slower gameplay, with paying more attention to details in game itself, will give you super easy time catching them off guard. Just camp and kill them. If you enjoyed and you're still looking for more stuff on how to improve, I've made a video about 6 overlooked tips on how to fix shaped key aim, and it's right over here. Also, thank you for an amazing support on previous 3 videos, and for helping me reach 2000 subs. Let's see if we can reach 3000 by the end of the next month. Until the next one, Peace.